last season's pre-season you were you were here on trial and uh, that was kind of maybe a little bit of an uncertain period for you and of course you signed up just before the Rovers game this is a bit different I imagine yeah yeah I mean I mean last season was was very different because I was traveling back and forth I was on trial with Dagenham for a bit as well and I was doing a lot of traveling and obviously coming from two leagues below I was you know quite unsure about myself as well coming into it and it was quite a big challenge for me, and it's, it's you know a lot more a lot more relaxed, and it's a lot easier for me to focus on what I'm doing. So, and how are you feeling now that you've uh, you kind of got a year under your belt with the with the first team? But maybe are you feel maybe a bit more assured of yourself, as it were? Is yeah, that... yeah, definitely. Like I think it's just more the the unknown of it really than than anything. I think yeah, now that I've played a lot, you know, a lot of games, and I feel like in a few games I've played, you know, to quite high standard. So. Um, yeah, no, I, I feel a lot more confident now than I did last season. Definitely. And what kind of um, goals do you think this this team should be sort of setting themselves to, uh, for, for the coming season? I, it's always hard to tell, isn't it, when you when you go into a new one because you're never quite sure where you are in that, in that pecking order of the league table. For example. Yeah, I think it's always it's always quite risky to to set yourself kind of season long goals. I mean, I've, in almost every team I've ever been in, people say, oh, "Let's make playoffs." Kind of thing. It's easy to kind of throw a you know, a target like that, or you know, if you've been around relegation, I like, avoid relegation. But I think, so, yeah, it's quite futile to, to do that. I think the only goal really that you can feasibly set yourself is to just be better than the previous season. So whether that be kind of week to week or season long, it's just I think it's just a lot more realistic than than any other sort of kind of throwaway comment. I've watched most of the games, but obviously, like I said, uh, after the the second England loss, I kind of dropped off a bit with watching the games. I found it difficult to watch football for a bit, but um, yeah, no, it's it's been great.